Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Maxine and this is the Broken Crafty channel where I do simple DIYs, give very easy budgeting tips and some very simple lifestyle hacks that anyone can do. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button down below and also the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I post. I've also made it easier for you to subscribe so you don't even have to scroll down below. Just click on the watermark on the bottom right hand side of all my videos and voila, you'll be subscribed. So if you like any video that I put out, please hit the like button, it encourages me to do even more and I also like interacting with my audience so don't be shy, comment down below, give me your thoughts on any video that I put out, I would love to hear from you. For our second DIY we're going to be recreating something we all have in our house but you wouldn't even think of turning it into something beautiful. So let's see what that is. Our requirements today we're going to use of course the star of the show tissue paper rolls I'm going to use the I think 13 of them wood glue spray paint in the shade gold silver and black I haven't yet decided the scheme of uh, the color scheme for the project but I'll choose for from these three masking tape box cutter my handy dandy pen and ruler preferably 30 centimeters long so that you save on time a sharp pair of scissors or manila paper which i'm going to use as the background cardboard box finally cardboard box which will accompany the manila paper i might change up on the size because i think this will be too small but we'll see as we go so first and foremost we're going to start by cutting the tissue paper rolls into little pieces i'm just going to flatten and then cut each of them into three flatten cut into three Now that we are done with the cutting process, I just I'm just going to take the pieces and lay them out on the manila paper. I have a design drawn out on another piece of paper. That's what I'm using as my guide. So I'm just going to lay out the pieces of paper until I achieve that design.
is how the design looks i'm happy with the results so right now i'm just going to put it all together using glue so this part i'm going to use my glue gun instead of the wood glue because i believe it's stronger and it will hold it for longer so, so i'm gluing without interfering with the layout so that i don't get confused in between or I don't lose track of the exact design that I want. Just good at caring too much. I'm just good at caring too much. Is it too much to ask that you be all mine? I never was good at sharing. I'm just good at caring too much. So I decided to add a couple more pieces, just a few pieces to just brighten up the design. So I'm trying as much as possible to pick pieces that are almost the same size so that the design will just look flawless. Now for the fun part, spraying! Today, unfortunately, I only have this one glove, so that will have to do. And I'm going to be using the black spray paint for the main piece. So for that first one, let's spray! the gold spray for the two little pieces that I added later on. I think gold and black goes well together so let's see how they turn out. to go with the silver spray because I didn't quite like the way the gold turned out on the other two pieces so I want to see how this turns out and decide if I should switch up the other gold for silver instead. 
So the silver actually ended up looking way better and more vibrant than the gold. So I just switched up the other two single pieces to silver. Now for the background or frame of the design, I'm going to take the manila paper, my ruler and the pen and just mark out the borders. I'm going to draw straight lines around the borders just to mark out where I'll fold it from when I add the cardboard box. So I did end up switching out the cardboard box for a bigger size. I think this will work better since it's bigger and it won't require as much work. So I'm just going to take the cardboard box, place it on the manila paper and mark out the size so and just cut until I get the exact size that I want. So obviously it's not going to match the length of the manila paper. The manila paper is actually longer than the box. But don't worry, that's why we have the masking tape because we're just going to join two pieces together until we get the size that we want. Once we've gotten the exact size that we want, we're just going to connect the two. So we're going to stick the manila paper onto the cardboard box and we're just going to use masking tape. I tried using the wood glue but it wasn't really working so I switched, I switched it up to masking tape and it worked perfectly fine. We're not yet done, but we are almost there. So right now it's just time to bring the whole thing together. So I'm just going to find a layout that works for me and stick it on the frame and we'll be done.
this is the outcome i added this black part i just took another three piece a tissue paper rolls and sprayed on top i'm not too sure about that part i'm not sure how i feel about that part but i think it came out pretty well but guess what i have another option for you guys instead of the frame you can actually stick it on your wall yes so this is how it looks on the wall and i have to admit i love this way better than the frame because it just gives me that 3d dimension art and just art that's alive you know and who would walk into your house and think that is tissue paper rolls no one no one I love how it turned out but i would love to hear from you what do you think do you pref prefer the frame or the wall let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe share and comment till next week see you